What's up YouTube? Working on getting some content out here before I can build an intro. So uh, we're just going to jump right into it. Um, like that one famous YouTuber whose name escapes me at the moment. Today we're going to be talking about Hardy Gloves again. I guess I should have started that way. So I talked about these in a previous video. Um, not a sponsorship. These are from Harbor Freight. Uh, you may not be able to get them in your neck of the woods. I think these are local to me in the southeast, but you know maybe you can. I mean they are on the website. Um, so these are actually for a gift. That's why they're they're brand new. Um, otherwise I'd I'd have opened them and used them now. We're gonna talk about the red ones first, and then we'll talk about the camo ones. Alright, so these uh, red ones, they are called Hardy Professional Series Mechanics Gloves. And you can see there's uh, you know, a little bit of marketing stuff right there. It says impact protection, comfort, and I can't read it on my, my screen here. Um, what does it say? Comfort and breathability, grip and durability. And then anti-vibration. I really need to keep this low. Then on the back we got some more marketing stuff. You know, your typical stuff. It explains some of the features, which is kind of what I'm going to go into. Um, and interestingly, it's not held in by a, a zip tie or you know one of them little plastic things. It's uh, pretty. It's, it's kind of like a, a hair tie with a metal piece on the end of it, and you just push it through, and bam, it's free. So you've got this little bitty. There's a little bit of a hole right there. That's what pushes through. So you don't have to destroy anything to do that, to, to separate them. So th these parts right here, these are rubberized. Um, you can see that this one's broken right there because you're going to use your index finger the most. You've got a little bit of branding. <clears throat> it's a high-vis red color. Flip it over, you've got that, which I guess is kind of new, or maybe... Maybe they wore off on the ones that I washed, or maybe this is a new thing. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, this is new. They did update this. These have capacitive fingertips, so they should work with uh, with a smartphone. But uh, this is a tough... Um, it feels kind of like leather, but I think it's more like felt or something, but it's a pretty tough material. Um, you can see there's some padding right there. Um, I've used lots of cheap gloves before, and they, they don't they don't usually last very long. You can get these with a coupon for like ten or eleven dollars at Harbor Freight. Normally, I think they they sell for like thirteen or something like that. Um, so these are pretty awesome. Uh, they came out with the red ones first, which is why I'm talking about the red ones first. Um, the way it uh, the way it stays on you. Yeah, let me take this out. So, put the glove on, and you got this flap right here, and a little bit of Velcro. And this actually helps pull it on. And uh, you know, it's. I mean, that's kind of like armor. It's. Uh, it's really tough. Uh, you know, I don't think I've punched anything with it, but if I did, I'm pretty sure it'd protect my knuckles. Um, the the big part is the the padding here, and this should work on a uh, on a cell phone. So yeah, I think these are really good. They work really well. Um, they hold up in the washing machine. i I'm working on putting them in all my bags and kits and stuff. Um, I, I think you probably should too because they're pretty awesome. Um, and at first I had some reservations about red, but then we move into these ones. What do they call these? Outdoor series. And these are high performance. Uh, I mean, they're a little bit better made. The, uh, the cuts are a little bit better, but it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, we'll, we'll go over this glove and then we'll compare them. Um, 
these are advertised as capacitive touch, so that should that works. It's kind of awkward because you know it's big gloves and you're trying to do fine movements on a um, smartphone, but it it functions. Um, again, you get the same thing with the the rubberized armor right here, and they generally work the same way, but they're camo. So camo would be good for hunting, um, or you know anytime you need to be covert instead of overt, like uh, Mothra is attacking me. Probably gonna have to kill Mothra here in a second. But uh, yeah, I like these a lot better, but they normally run a couple dollars more. So I think MSRP is normally like <clears throat> 15 or 16 dollars. Uh, you can get them with a coupon for like 12. So for most applications, I just roll with these red ones. Uh, but I've got these cam this camo pair on my bailout bag um, near a set of armor, and you know for any other situation where I would need I would need to blend in to like the forest as opposed to uh, real life. <coughs> So as far as differences, there are some vent holes right here in the camo one. There are no vent holes here. These are these are all solid. It's all this leathery felt-like material here. Um, these are advertised to be capacitive touch, touchscreen compatible. Let's see, did I miss it? This doesn't say anything about touchscreen compatible. Just says they're double reinforced. Give you. So, I don't know. This feels like it'd be touchscreen compatible, but it is kind of rubbery. I don't think I've tried it. Um, but yeah, these are really awesome gloves, and I recommend them.